Hello guys and welcome back to another Bucket Plugin tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to use the Holographic Displays API. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we're going to be making here today. Whenever we join the server, it shows up our name, the amount of plugins we have installed in a floating stack of diamonds, and after 10 seconds, it will disappear. Just like that. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that the plugin is loaded on the server. If you head to the link I have down in the description, it will bring you to this page, or sorry, it will bring you to this page where you can look at the Holographic Displays API intro. It just gives you a basics on how to get started and how to do a couple of simple things. We're going to be copying two things from here. The first thing is this, and we're going to copy and paste this into our plugin.yml. This just makes sure that our plugin loads after Holographic Displays. And then we're also going to copy and paste this into our on enable because we don't want our plugin to run if Holographic Displays is not installed on the server. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and on over to our join listener class. If you don't understand how vectors works, this might be a little complex for you, but I'll go ahead and try my best to break it down for you guys. First thing we're going to do is create a variable for our player, because we're going to be using this a few times. The next thing we want to do is make a variable for the player's location, because we're going to be using this as well. The next thing we're going to do is get the vector of the direction the player is facing. I'm going to go ahead and create a variable for this, and we can just name this direction. And we're going to get this vector from the location and we can get the direction that they're facing. Make sure you import the right kind of vector from org.bucket.util.vector. So by default, this vector is one block long in the direction that the player is facing. I want the message to show up a couple blocks in front of the player. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this vector by 2. And what this will do is extend the vector length to 2 blocks. Now we're getting 2 blocks in front of the player. Then the next thing we're going to do is add this vector to the player's location so we get the updated location. And then after this I'm also going to raise the vector up by two blocks because I want it to be at the player's head level. And now we're actually going to get into creating a hologram. So we're going to go ahead and here and create a variable for our hologram. And we're just going to name this hologram. We can reference the holograms API statically, so all we have to do is type in holograms API dot create hologram, and you're also going to want to pass in an instance of your plugin, and also the location at which you want the hologram to be. Next thing we're going to do is add the information to our hologram. So whenever you insert or append a line using the API, it returns a variable so you can edit the line. These two variables are item line and text line. The first thing we're going to do is create a text line variable. You don't have to create a variable, but if you want to edit the line in the future, you will need to make a variable so you can edit the line. So it's good just for future practice. And we're going to set this to hologram.insertLine. And what this does, it inserts a line at whatever index you input. So 0 is the first line, 1 is going to be the second line down, etc. And then the second thing is going to be your string. So I'm going to do exactly what I did in the intro and type in welcome back followed by the player's name. And the next thing we're going to do is add a line that's going to be our stack of diamonds. So instead of creating a text line, you're going to create an item line. And we can just name this item. And we're going to reference our hologram again. And this time we're going to append the item line instead of inserting it. This is going to be the bottom most line in our hologram. So I can go ahead and create a new item stack here and it's going to be of a diamond. And just to show you guys how the insert line works even further, what this is currently doing is setting the first line to our welcome back message and the second line to our diamond. But let's say I want to add a line at the second index, moving this diamond down one, we can just use the insert line method. And if you want to make your own placeholder like I did in the intro, I'm also going to show you guys how to do that as well. First I'm going to go ahead here and create a text line that is going to be the line that is going to have the placeholder in it, and I'm just going to do the same exact thing I did in the intro and make a placeholder for the number of plugins that are currently installed on the server. So now we actually have to create this placeholder or it will just show up plugins in brackets in our hologram. So in order to do this we're going to create a new class and we can just name this plugin placeholder. In this class is going to implement placeholder replacer. And we're going to go ahead and implement the methods, update, and this is going to return a string. And this string is what's going to be inside of the placeholder. So I'm going to go ahead up here and create a constructor. 
and in this constructor we're going to pass in the number of plugins installed on the server. And we can go ahead and create a variable for this. And then what we're going to do here inside of the update method is return a string with the value of our plugins variable. You guys can do much more complex things than this, but I'm going to keep it simple for this tutorial. That's all that we're going to do inside of this class. Now we need to actually register our placeholder. So we can register this placeholder by using a method inside of the API. We reference it using hologram API dot register placeholder, pass in an instance of our plugin, and then we type in the text that we want to be the placeholder. I made it plug in between two brackets. This is going to be the rate at which it updates. For example, if you use a plugin like Plugman and you load a plugin while the server is running, it will update the number of plugins every this many seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and here and enter one second, so it's going to check for an update every one second. And then here's where we pass in an instance of our placeholder we just made. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new instance of that. And then here we're going to pass in the number of plugins that are installed on the server. So we're going to use, I'm going to go ahead and put this on a new line so you guys can see it. So we're going to use bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot get plugins dot length. And this is going to return the number of plugins that are currently installed on the server. And that's it. That's our placeholder registered. Now all we have to do over here is update our hologram so it can actually contain placeholders. Right now, if you ran this code, our placeholder would not show up. That is because you have to use the method hologram dot allow placeholders and we can set this to true. And then we also want to make this hologram go away after 10 seconds. So we're going to be creating a bucket runnable for this. So we're going to create a new bucket runnable, as I just said. And we are going to add the unimplemented methods, which is just this one name run. And then inside of here, we're going to put hologram.delete, because we want to get rid of this hologram completely. And we're going to run this after 200 ticks, which is going to be equal to 10 seconds. That's all the code guys, I'll see you guys in game. Now as you guys can see whenever we join the server, our message gets shown up right in front of us. If you want the message to always be straight in front of the player, you need to make sure to set their direction before you get the vector so that they're looking straight ahead, otherwise if they're looking down like that as you just saw, the message will be in the ground slightly. So that's just something to keep note if you're doing the same exact thing that I am. Anyways guys, if this helped you out, make sure to leave a like. And if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. This one was suggested by one of you guys, actually, so thank you so much for this great idea. If you guys want to check out the source code for this plugin, I'm going to have a link to the project file down in the description. You can download it. If you have any issues, come join my Discord. I'm glad to help you out over there. I live stream on Mondays and Thursdays here on YouTube, and I usually start between 6 and 9 p.m. Central Time. Now, I'd appreciate it if you guys came on by, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Nice! The Mutt's Nuts, in fact.